Hello doll fans and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. Now today was meant to be Pride in London. I was meant to be out on the streets, dancing, celebrating LGBT rights and culture and art, but unfortunately, thanks to 2020 being probably the worst year in recorded history, Pride has been cancelled. Now, a couple months ago I made a video all about Earring Magic Ken. And in that video, I mentioned that I would really like to dress up as Earring Magic Ken for Pride. And even though Pride isn't happening, I thought maybe I could still celebrate Pride by still dressing up as Earring Magic Ken and transforming myself into Earring Magic Ken. Here he is, the one and only Earring Magic Ken. I absolutely love this doll. Honestly, I think this might be one of my favourite um, Barbie dolls of all time. Now, I will go into a brief history of Earring Magic Ken, but if you want a more in-depth look at this doll, um, and me unboxing him, uh, do go and watch my original video. I'll put a link on the screen, and I'll put a link in the description so you can go back and watch that at any time, but basically, Earring Magic Ken came out in 1992, I believe, and there were many rumours, much speculation, because people believed that some staff at Mattel that had been tasked with the job of finding a new look for Ken went to um, an LGBT gay rave to see what young people were wearing, um, but they didn't realise it was a gay rave and ended up dressing Ken like this, which is a very stereotypically gay, flamboyant outfit. Now, I've um, after that video, I read some of the comments, and some people believed um, there's actually also been speculation that um, the employees at Mattel did it on purpose. Um, but anyway, people loved this doll um, because of his very flamboyant gay look, and he is to this day the top-selling Ken doll of all time. But unfortunately, Mattel took him off the shelves, um, and issued a statement saying that Ken isn't gay. But now this doll is super famous, um, and I love him. I think he's awesome, and you know, I mean, there's always been a big question mark over Ken. Is he gay? Is he bi? Are him and Barbie really dating, or are they just, like, best friends? Who knows? And I think the whole point of Barbie is that you can make up your own mind. Someone also told me in the comments of my Earring Magic Ken video that, um, Mattel made these postcards which had two Kens together on what looks like a date, and honestly, they are so funny. I mean, you know, the people at Mattel must have known what they were doing. You know what I mean? I feel like they just tried to hijack Ken and make him um, an LGBT character, which I love. I mean, I think it's so cool. But anyway, this year I was planning on dressing up as Earring Magic Ken for Pride. I thought that was a great way to tie in um, my LGBT-ness and my love for Barbie all in one amazing outfit. Um, so as you can see, he's got kind of like a pleather um, waistcoat. Um, I actually, I'll, I'll show you what I've got and then I'm obviously gonna like transform myself. <laughs> I bought this leather um, waistcoat. So I'm gonna put this on. It's not the right color. I mean, all the colors I've got are not right. It's too dark. Um, this is more of like a lilac y kind of purple. But yeah, I've also bought some more leather because I want to, because this, because this waistcoat doesn't have the like lapels or, is that what you call them? The bits that fold over here? These bits. So I'm gonna like make some hopefully. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I am not a seamstress. I also bought this sheer <laughs> top, this kind of see-through purple top. Again, not the right colour, um, but you know, it'll do the trick. Um, I have some black jeans. I mean, I just already had these. Now for the necklace, necklace. I mean, I did think for a moment maybe I should just buy a ring because people speculate because people speculated that this is meant to be a ring. Um, I did think maybe but then I decided against it and instead I ordered a big chunky Barbie necklace but I ordered it in April and has it arrived? No. Very disappointed with that. But I do happen to have this Barbie necklace um, I'm not even sure if it'll fit around my neck, because it is made for a child. But this is from 1997, this will have to do. I mean, he's got an earring, and I actually, he came with clip-on earrings, but I can't find them, so I'm gonna have to, like, improvise an earring. We'll see how that goes. And I'm gonna have to do my hair all slicked back, because my hair's really long at the moment, because I haven't been able to go to the hairdressers, but yeah, we'll see how this goes. First of all, I'm going to transform the waistcoat.
Uh, so I've modified the waistcoat and I found the earring Magic Ken earrings. So obviously I'm gonna have to wear these. Okay, so let the transformation begin, I guess. <laughs> I'm so sunburned. I already feel a hundred times more fabulous. Now, he actually has short sleeves. Um, that works. Okay, yeah. Okay, amazing. I'll just roll them up. Oh my goodness, it's perfect. Okay, now I need to fix my hair. Make it look... Now, I can't, obviously, he's got kind of like two-toned hair. It goes from like light blonde to like sandy blonde. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna dye my hair for this video, Soz. But I am gonna like spray it back because he's got it all slicked back. Put so much hairspray in. I mean, it's uncanny, come on. So they kind of say that if you have your earring in the left ear, then that means you're a homosexual. So obviously I'm gonna have to do it in my left ear, just like Ken has done. Amazing. Okay, let's open this necklace. I really, really hope this fits around my fat neck. Aww. Ooh. It's not really the right colour or the right shape or anything, but it's got Barbie on it, so it's gonna have to do. Is this gonna fit around me? Oh my goodness. Literally just. It's like a choker. I feel so fabulous right now. Yes, queen! Wow! <laughs> now, I should definitely not be doing this on my bed, but it would not be pride without some glitter, so I'm just gonna put some glitter on my face. Just a little bit, just a touch. I'm taking some creative liberties because obviously Ken doesn't have glitter on his face, but I'm sure Ken would, I'm sure Ken would love this. And the glitter's biodegradable. Yeah, really should not be doing this on my bed, but oh well. Now my bed is full of glitter, but it's fine, it's fine. We're working through it. The transformation is nearly complete. I love it! Oh my goodness. Ken, you absolute style icon. Mwah. So, doll fans, that was my earring magic Ken pride look. I'm so sorry that we can't celebrate pride properly this year, but I hope you still have an amazing day. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel and click the bell for notifications. Also, check me out on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.